Um, I have definitely seen a change in the, uh, the access to heroin um, and the culture around the safety of heroin. I think over the past 10 years, in my opinion, uh, the culture of the safety around it has gone down, so, so students don't perceive it's as risky as it was even 15 years ago. Alcohol and weed were very commonplace, and then I, you know, I found cocaine, tried that a couple of times, and then, of course, along with that were the people that had all sorts of prescription pills from you know, their parents or from old injuries, you know, whatever. So I found like Vicodin and Oxycontin, and that, that, was, that was it for me. That was like what I was into. Heroin is cheap, and what we've heard from a lot of our students is that they started by taking medications that they found in someone's um, medicine cabinet and couldn't afford paying for these pills, for the Vicodin, the Oxycontin, the Percocet, and heroin is so cheap and so available these days that they ended up using heroin instead. People think that kids who like, are addicted to drugs were raised poorly. It has absolutely nothing to do with the parents. Like, my parents did everything they possibly could. They spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on treatment for me in the last four years. And I'm still struggling. The availability, I feel like they can get it on every corner right now. So they can get heroin, like, delivered to my school faster than I can get a pizza or their, to their homes. Or, like, it's just different with the, with the development of all this technology and everything else, I think. Um, it's just easier to get drugs in general, and if heroin is so rampantly available, then that's just something they go to, and it's cheaper. It's really cheap right now, too, so. I actually did heroin for the first time by accident. I thought it was cocaine. That's what I was told. And, um, like, immediately got addicted. I just wanted more of it. It's definitely more prevalent. We definitely see it with more kids. I feel like um, the kids are younger, you know, so I think that more people are trying it. And I feel like more pe it's a little bit more acceptable for people, you know, to try. I mean, it seems like it's almost a rite of passage during middle school and high school to try drugs. And, and it seems like it's been that way ever since I've been a guidance counselor anyway. But now it seems like one of the drugs that's included is heroin, where I feel like in, back in the day, it wasn't, it wasn't something that you would try. I mean, I was, I was a 14-year-old kid from Marblehead when I started using heroin. I mean, driving to Marblehead and look at all the 14-year-olds, like, that, that was me using heroin. And no one knew, my parents didn't even know that I was a junkie for like two years because I hit it so well because I was so ashamed. Like, my parents knew I drank, my parents knew about the other drugs that I used, but they didn't know about heroin because I was so ashamed I didn't tell anybody. Like, I know for drug addiction, it's very taboo, you know, like, they don't want to talk about it because then that brings up tension and we don't want tension, so we're just going to not talk about it. And that's why I was kicked out of my high school so quickly. Just, you know, they, no one spoke about it. I was just gone. They didn't want people to know that, you know, they were drug users in their school. Like, if you walk into a middle school, you think that none of those kids are using heroin. If you walk into a public middle school these days, there's a few kids using heroin. That's a fact. Any, any, at any middle school. And you, you can't, you can't tell, like, all these kids, they're so ashamed that they're addicted to heroin that they don't ask for help, and they should be. But, like, the world, they, they're, they're worried about being judged. They're, they're, they're worried about embarrassment. and You know, the, sort of the picture of the typical heroin user is, 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 is completely changed, especially since I was a kid. Um, but, you know, you'd be surprised. I think a lot of people don't realize, like, young, beautiful, talented kids that have have bright futures ahead of them. Get involved, get, you know, try it and end up getting addicted to it. Certainly, you know, this is not simple. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to be changed. I think the most important changes would be made at the early stages, like the young kids, before they get to a recovery high school. I think culturally there needs to be, it, it shouldn't be taboo anymore. People can't look at drug addiction as you know, like being synonymous with criminals and, you know, like just bad people. Like that's, the, that's really where the stigma comes from, I think. You know, like they're afraid to kind of admit to themselves that these are good, normal people that are just sick and have a problem. And so it's a lot easier to put them away and ostracize them than show compassion. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking about being sober tomorrow. I'm thinking about being sober for the rest of the day and going to sleep sober, not fucked up. Tomorrow I'll wake up and worry about that day.